Hey everyone, I'm making this video, this is going to be an um, introduction to my heart, heart monitor, okay, which is this thingamajig I'm wearing right now, <laughs> okay, I've been wearing an event halter heart monitor since Tuesday this week, so it's been... about five days now, okay? Since I've been wearing this uh, monitor. Um, it's not an easy thing. Well, it's kind of difficult because the um, these get a little bit irritating on your skin after a while and you gotta change them and wash around it and whatever, but um, they get a bit irritating on your skin um these sticky pads so but other than that you know it's real easy to use i have this thingamajig um here it's like a cell phone okay and this is how i record my events and send them in Okay, and I have to press this button on the side of this, and it'll ding, 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 and then I have to answer a question, what am I feeling, you know, at this time of this, um, and I press this button when I'm feeling any symptoms, and I have to answer a couple questions, what am I feeling, and what am I doing at the time. Then I just record the event and press send when it's done. A few minutes later after um, it had recorded on the device and send it in. Um, so they, they could be able to see it and what's going on with my heart rhythm. Um, so I have that in this little nice case that goes with it. Okay. I had gotten this at the hospital. Um, they hooked me up to it um, last Tuesday, uh, Tuesday this week, um, five days ago. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like. See, I'm connected to all these sticky pads and these wires. Um, and I have one up here, I have one under here. Okay, it's to monitor my heart rate and rhythm um, and to check for any arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats um, so they know exactly what's going on um, outside of the hospital or outside of the doctor's office while I'm doing my day-to-day -day, um, activities throughout the day my normal life basically um, so I just go about my day as I usually would um, with this heart halter monitor on and I just press that button answer those questions and send it in when I feel my heart racing or I feel lightheaded or whatever. Um, my symptoms I don't believe are related to anxiety. Um, they seem to correlate with when I'm doing, let's say, minor activities around the apartment, maybe um, walking up the stairs, carrying a basket of laundry, putting clothes away, um, you know, just the normal everyday stuff that any other person would do. Um, so, I don't know, but... I do have a history of actually losing consciousness or passing out. So I don't believe my symptoms are anxiety related. I'm not working, I'm at home all the time. So I have really nothing to be all that anxious about. Um, but, but yeah, um, I've had a history of, even though I've had a history of 
totally losing consciousness. It doesn't happen on a regular basis, but I've had several instances throughout my life where I have literally passed out. Okay, whether if it was my, related to my heart or blood pressure or something. And then a while ago, I think it was in 2007, I was actually tested positive on the tilt table test. Um, which is when you lay flat on this table and you're like strapped to the table and it goes up like this in an upright position or different degrees and positions while it monitors your heart rhythm, your heart rate and blood pressure. Um, is what happened when I was on the table is flat on my back, everything was normal. My blood pressure, my heart rate was normal. And then as the table went up to the upright position, I had a dramatic fall in blood pressure and a dramatic increase in heart rate at the time. And that could be very well what this is, but they just want to um, double check and um, just kind of like see if there's anything else, you know, um, just to be on the safe side, make sure it's nothing too concerning or whatever, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, um, that's why I'm making this video. Um, this, I was actually scheduled, I'm actually scheduled for 30 days to wear this, um, but I thought at first I was only going to wear it for a couple weeks um however if the doctor seems to think that um they have got enough of what they they, th they think of go is going on we can terminate it early so um according to based on my understanding but yeah so what I've been experiencing lately um, and why I'm wearing this halter monitor is because I've been experiencing heart palpitations and I've had them for years. So I don't, quite honestly, I don't think it's anything too concerning, but it will rule out anything as to why or uh, what type of arrhythmia I have or whatever. But, um, I had them um, since I was in high school, um, along with my ataxia, where I was uh, diagnosed with episodic ataxia, and um, my symptoms were commonly mistaken for panic attack or anxiety, because I would uh, throw up and have dizzy spells, and, um... I would get heart palpitations and short of breath. Um, but I got diagnosed with episodic attacks and was put on a medication called exozolamide, which significantly reduced my symptoms. Um, for a number of years, I was actually episodic ataxia, free of symptoms of that um, before it coming back but to a lesser degree and severity. Um, similar thing happened with the heart palpitations is that they were happening pretty consistently back when I was in high school, but they disappeared for quite a few years and then they returned. Um, so that's why I am wearing this heart monitor. Um, Again, I've had a history of lot losing consciousness, but it was never a regular occurrence. Um, so, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye now.